Well, uh, I'd like to, to thank you again, Dr. Robert Goldman, for this opportunity to be here, just to show a little bit of the Brazilian Society of Sports Medicine. And thank you, the partnership they are starting to do with Brazil, in Brazil with Maurice Fernandes and with our society. Is everything okay now? Okay. Okay, moving ahead. Um, uh, I would like to apologize for the thanks also uh, for my little Brazilian accent <laughs> and for the presentation that is in Portuguese. We had a problem in our communication, so I was not uh, expecting to do this at this moment. Uh, but uh, I think the ideas are much more important than the words that are inside the slides. Uh, sports medicine is a very strong specialty all over the world and it's typically multidisciplinary. We have many different topics uh, and different areas and different areas of study and including cardio internal medicine, including cardiology, rheumatology, uh, rehabilitation and physiology, uh, orthopedics and so on. And this concept has grown very strongly during the last 50 years, especially in, in some groups in Europe and some groups in, in North America also. Here in North America, you know that the Orthopedic Society has a strong, is a strong branch of the sports medicine with the orthopedic surgeons. And the American College of Sports Medicine is another branch that is much more involved with the physiology and some other uh, topics and specialties, especially uh, about training and cardiology and prevention. Uh, in Brazil, this, both branches grew together. So we have the orthopedic surgeons very involved with them and many other specialties uh, like cardiology, pediatrics, gynecology, and, and so on. Uh, in 1932, it was created the first course about sports medicine in Brazil. And in 1939, it became a law that every doctor in a school should have this specialty. It changed, and during the last years, the, this law does not uh, is is so uh, uh, respected. So the law went out, and there is no law at this moment. So it's not an obligation to have a sports medicine doctor in a school, but it was in the past, and it was very important for this specialty to grow strongly in our country. In 1964, we had the first Brazilian Congress on Sports Medicine, and this year we will have the 21st uh, Congress of Sports Medicine in Brazil. Brazilian Society was founded in 1962 in, during that Congress, uh, and the very beginning it was not a society, it was a federation with some uh, regional societies involved in this, in this federation. 13 years ago it became a real society with a group of members and nowadays we have about 600 members in the Brazilian Sports Medicine Society. It has a lot of uh, job doing during these years. Uh, we have a publication, the Brazilian Journal of Sports Medicine, that is a regular scientific publication. It's a peer-reviewed journal and it it is, it is included in the Cielo and Lilac system. We're trying to go in the PubMed uh, database, but it's very difficult to be there, but we're trying, we are doing our efforts to get that. We have regular bulletins and many other, uh, some other newspapers about sports medicine that uh, go all over the country, but especially in Rio de Janeiro and in Sao Paulo. The Brazilian Society have already done a, mer uh, a lot of uh, official guidelines uh, in different topics about sports in youth, uh, sports in the 30 age, uh, pre-participation evaluation, and many others. And all these projects are linked with the AMB, AMB that's the uh, Associação Médica Brasileira, Brazilian Medical Association, that has a big uh, program about the guidelines in different specialties. 
and we are one of the specialists that are strongly involved with them. We also have a board certification test that's done every year during our Congress, and we have about 100 people doing this board certification every year. Unfortunately, not all these people that go to this board examination can become a specialty uh, expert, expertise in, in sports medicine. But uh, every year, we're getting more and more people involved in this.